It'll bridge into the second after the Zamboni comes out. Robert shot along the ice. Now comes to Ebert. Backhand pass, tried to feed the slot. Shot, it's loose. Ebert a chance and a score. Grant Ebert on the third effort. The Colonials with four seconds left to go in the first period. They go in front, one to nothing. Quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. The Colonials have the lead. Yeah, another hustle goal for RMU. They just kept swarming it. Uh, the pass to Lint to Prokusik went awry. Lynch ended up collecting it. He got a shot on goal. That didn't go, but uh, the rebound there to be cleaned up by Ebert. Polino had no chance. Just 4.7 seconds remaining in period number one. Looks like the Colonials will be going to the locker room up one to nothing. Grant Ebert, his sixth turnover here in front of Polino. For Cusick, wrist shot Jenny deflected past Polino. Now a shot comes in backhand and a rebound score. The Colonials now in front two to nothing. We'll see who gets credit for the goal. I thought it went off a Percusic stick last, but they're gonna give it, I believe. Now will be Nick Percusic. Nick Percusic does get the goal, two to nothing. The Colonials out in front of Bentley in the third period with 17.38 left to go. Averman, it's hockey. There is no batter. Two zip Colonials. Yeah, brutal turnover by Bentley in its end and the Colonials did not cash in on it initially, but uh, after the first opportunity went awry, the puck came to the near point, and Tim, Nick, Jenny, he just got it to the net. Now, he's got some speed down the right wing board, shot all the way across, and a save by Kappelmaster, and he kept it out! Somehow, Kappelmaster kept it out. How did he do that? This is my domain, Justin Kappelmaster. Yeah, I may have to take a look at this one again. Garen going wide and then throwing it across the ice. I think it stayed out. An initial save made, but then Kappelmaster had to dive back toward the goal line. Who was that, Novak again that uh, had the, the pass from Garen? Yeah, and Mentenuto was the skater that was back for Robert Morris. I don't think that went in. Well, the puck, Unless, the yeah, puck didn't well, go in, but he gloved it, and I don't know if his glove slid over the line or not. Uh, a left-to-right stick save, and he kept it out of the net, but it bounced down, and it was inches from the goal line, and Kaplmaster got his glove behind it, but one of the Colonials... Eric Ernst waving it off quickly, a fast review there. And then first time we've seen a five-on-three, though. Prokusik uses the end boards to bank a pass to Mentenudo. Let's get a good look at that five on three. Shot to score from Perkusik is second. Daniel Mentenudo set him up and Perkusik scores to make it three to nothing. Hey goalie goalie, I'm goalie goalie. It's a three goal lead for Robert Morris. Boy, just after the two man advantage expired, Colonial's not needing much time at all and uh, I think you can take this one to the bank, Tim. Uh, good work again around the net, the play starting below the goal line and Pekusik just bringing it back out before Polino had a chance to react. He was a little distracted by Mantenuto who's coming out.